So over here, guys, this is a high pressure sodium. Uh, this is a dust to dawn fixture. You can buy these things at Home Depot. And then I just put a cardellini on the back side of it and energize it with a extension cord. And this is, you know, kind of emulating that uh, urban night street light vibe of high pressure sodium. So what I would say is what John's doing is he's taking that cyan kind of off of the background so it trails off a little more. I have the same color temp of the high pressure sodium bouncing in to this fill. But what I want to do is I always try to push some cyan into the shadows. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add one more bounce over camera and we're going to bring the Q500 in and we're going to push some cyan into it. Okay. So, um, you got a circle, do you have a four by four there? and then I have foam core. Yeah, do the circle bounce with a platypus. Okay, great. And then I'll, uh, John, get that Q500 over here and yeah, put it right above camera here. You got it. Why don't you hold on to this? Or do you have a stand? I think you got a stand buried back there. Yeah, I guess. The reason I like adding that, have to swap it out to a it, if you go to a sodium vapor uh, street and there's not any other color, it just becomes a wash. So what I'm always doing when I'm going into these scenarios where I have a lot of sodium vapors, I try to fill with more of a green tonality, uh, like a blue green tonality. So I have a little color contrast. It doesn't have to be super heavy. It just needs to separate out. Just like what you're seeing on Kira's hair right now, that cyan from that tube is looking awesome. But now what we want to do is fill in all these shadows on this side to be able to be a little more cyan. So we get color contrast, so it doesn't feel like just a wash.